In this video, I'm going to be giving you guys a basic tutorial on how the Draw application works in the Laser OS software. So the Draw app is going to let us draw stuff using different styluses and tools, and the Laser Dock is going to project our drawings in real time as we're drawing them. On the left hand side, you're going to see that little box shows what my Laser Dock is projecting in real time. On the right hand side of this application, there's a large square, and that's the area that you have to work with with your drawings and right on the top of that square is a color bar where you can set the color of whatever stylus you're using so if you're using the pen and you want to draw in red you can set the color to red and then you can also click the little white circle to show what shade of red you would like or whatever color that you choose to work with so the first little tool that you start off with in draw is pencil that one's pretty self-explanatory you just hold down left click and move your cursor around and while you're moving your cursor around and holding down the left click you will get drawings that appear kind of like you're writing with a pencil in this empty box and the laser will project them now there are some other tools that you can work with in here in fact there are five separate ones there's pencil there's line there's rectangle ellipse which is circles and text and these are all pretty self-explanatory if you're working with line all you do is hold down your left click and drag your cursor and you'll create a straight line rectangle you'll make rectangles ellipse will create circles and text will allow you to write text anywhere in your empty space and then on the bottom left hand corner you have all your normal controls that you have on all the apps your hue and color and power and rotation and so on and so forth on the very bottom there are two little arrows and a button in between them the left and right arrows allow you to go to previous or next layer because you can create different layers with these drawings. And then the middle button is a sign layer. And if we go into that, that's going to allow us to do some different things with whatever layer we're working on. Like select a line drawing style, a flashing style, color style, and what priority we want this layer to be. So I can draw something and then I can make this layer flash a certain way and then I can go on to another layer and I can draw something and that layer will be independent of the previous layer and it won't have the same flashing so you can do some cool stuff with that to the right of those little layer controls are a little arrow button a circular arrow that's gonna let you restart whatever you're drawing and erase everything that you've currently drawn and then next to that is a save button so if I have a drawing I really like I can save it and then I can go over to say rave I can go to imports and inside the imports I'll see my custom drawing and I can now add that to playlists and I can use that in various applications that I want to use it in so it's a really cool way to make your own little graphics if you wanted to draw something custom that you didn't necessarily see in the rave application and that pretty much sums up the basic features of the draw application in the laser OS software